Hello, this is Mr. Mobility. There are a number of different ways to take a screenshot with your iPhone. The first is to use two buttons. You require just two buttons. You need one, the side button here, and then you need the volume up button on the side. The side button, which doubles as the power button, and the volume up button on the side. What you do is you press them together at the same time and release them together like this. And screenshot is taken and saved away into your gallery. Can we do that again? Volume up, my thumb on it, power button or side button, press at the same time and release at the same time and screenshot taken and saved to the phone gallery. The second way to take a screenshot on your iPhone, if you do not want to use any of the physical buttons, is to use Siri. Just say, hey Siri, take a screenshot. There you go. And then you can tap on your screenshot to edit it. You can scribble on it. You can resize it and adjust it in whatever ways you want to and once you're done you save to photos save to files you can delete it whatever you want to do with it but save to photos and it goes to your photos app that's your iphone gallery i, I keep referring <laughs> referring to it as gallery because that's what i'm used to on android phones but your iphone gallery is your photos app so that's the way the second way to take a screenshot with your iphone the third way also if you do not want to use uh, the buttons is to activate back tap right it's a feature that allows you to double tap or triple tap on the back of your phone to take a screenshot how do you activate that you go to your settings scroll down to accessibility and um, touch scroll down till you see back tap and in this case i'm going to use double tap so double tap what do i want to do screenshot so i i want to set it to be able to take screenshots so i set that and then i go back as you can see here now under double tap screenshot is listed so if I want to take a screenshot that way, I double tap the back of the phone. Okay. Okay. And the screenshot is taken. Again, you can edit by tapping on the screenshot, etc., etc., And then you save. The back tap option is the trickiest. A number of times I have to try it multiple times before the screenshot gets taken. The easiest, as far as I'm concerned, is to use the two buttons, volume up and the side button. Next to that, Siri also does an excellent job. If you want to try the back tap thing and it works smoother for you, that's fine. But those are the three ways that you can take a screenshot on your iPhone conveniently. I'll see you in my next video.